Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. I'm Emmanuel, I'm an airline pilot and Boeing have just announced that they are now using Microsoft Flight Simulator for training real-world airline pilots. Who would have thought that that would ever happen? Well, probably all of us since we were already convinced about the quality of our flight simulator for a long time. But let's get back to the story. So let's have a look into the official announcement and in today's video I want to go over how that is likely going to look like for airline pilots and what benefit you can get from that in actual pilot training. I will also talk a little bit about the limitations of what you can and what you cannot train using Microsoft Flight Simulator and how that's going to benefit the industry. But let's go ahead and start with a look at what is actually happening. So this is the official Boeing press release from the 6th of November and they say that Boeing launches virtual airplane procedures trainer powered by Microsoft Azure and Microsoft Flight Simulator. Further they say that this enables pilots to practice procedures outside of traditional training environments. Now first of all what does that mean? Virtual airplane procedures trainer powered by. So powered by basically tells us that the engines working in the background of the Boeing virtual airplane procedures trainer will be Microsoft Azure and Microsoft Flight Simulator. With Microsoft Flight Simulator itself not being the same version that we all have on our gaming computers. Sorry guys, you can't just buy a logbook and start logging hours now and that Microsoft Azure, which is basically the server side of things, is now powering the new Boeing device. If you want to read through the entire announcement, then you will figure out that they are basically trying to bring this stuff to, let's say, iPads and smaller laptops, stuff that pilots would typically have when they go into a type rating. So, yeah. It's not exactly the same version that we have here, but it's more like a version that's running on the cloud and then coming down to your computer. The focus on that is definitely going to be on the procedural training, since after all the thing is called a virtual airplane procedures trainer. But what exactly is a procedure trainer? So a procedure trainer is a device used in pilot training that does not qualify as let's say a device where you can actually practice flying an airplane as in having your hands on the controls and gaining practical flying skills but a procedure trainer is a device that is used to practice the procedures that you are going to use in an airplane so for example heading into this 777 over here a procedure would be for example the items we do when lining up on the runway and stuff like that you can absolutely do in a 3D environment like this lovely Boeing 777 over here. Now, the Boeing Procedure Trainer is initially going to support the 737 MAX and then going to later on support the 777X and the Boeing 787. Now, this raised quite a bit of speculation in the community whether the aircraft that we see in the sim is actually the PMDG 737 MAX. And while it is true that PMDG have in the past hinted at the fact that they were working on a 737 MAX that was a professional project, we do not have any confirmation that this would be what's actually happening and if you look very closely into some of the screenshots provided by Boeing then you will notice that there are quite a couple of things that are not exactly looking like at least the PMDG 737 that we know so either they have changed some stuff or this is a different product we don't know about that there is no official information there is no actual confirmation and the only statement we got from PMDG is that they are not going to comment on this so therefore any further speculation about this would be just that speculation without any actual knowledge but let's therefore focus our discussion on what this is going to do for actual pilot training and how pilots are going to benefit from having something like this available. So in the good old days pilots were basically sitting in front of posters practicing their flows and skills and that is how I have at least on the official side of things done my very first type rating. So my sim partner and me went to the training center they had a couple of paper mock-ups over there where you basically had a couple of boxes 
with the posters glued on them and then you could kind of practice the way to move your hands and see where everything is in the flight deck. Now, using Microsoft Flight Simulator takes things a step further and using Microsoft Flight Simulator you are basically going to be able to not just touch the areas where you would press a button but you're actually going to be able to see what's going to happen in return and that makes a huge difference. During my personal type ratings back in the day on the Boeing 737 as well as a few years back on the Airbus A330 I made quite a bit of use of those tools personally and it made life so much easier for me when I got into the actual simulator sessions because I would basically know what to touch. I would have a good idea of how the airplane is going to respond. And note that I'm saying good idea here because, let's face it, many many flight sim add-ons are not completely accurate. Real aircraft are going to be somewhat different and for that reason Boeing is probably developing you know, specialized software for their own tool and not using the stuff we have for gaming right over here. So, what does that mean? Basically, pilots can get a very good idea about how the airplane works. They can get a, get a good idea of how the autopilot works, how the FMS works, through actually playing with the stuff. And for me personally, as a visual learner, when I'm touching these things in the airplane, or rather in the simulator, and seeing how they respond, it's so, so much easier to remember how everything works. And that way, when I got into the simulator lessons, I had already looked over that stuff many, many times in my personal flight sim. So when I got into the actual lessons, I had mental capacity to focus on the finer details of what the instructors were telling us and didn't just have to focus on, okay, now I gotta put the landing gear down, now I gotta put the flaps down. No, I could actually look at the finer details of things, like what happens if I lower them half a mile earlier, what happens if I do it half a mile later, that, that kind of stuff. So, in practical terms, this means that pilots will have the possibility to practice with their soon going to be aircraft ahead of time and while that does obviously not replace any of the professional training we do it is a very good addition to it because you can memorize what the instructors have told you a few more times by just going over it again and again and that really helped during the type rating therefore cutting down the numbers of um, repeats that may come up in a simulator cutting down the well perhaps at some point in the future, number of lessons required, but that's still something for the future. So overall, this absolutely makes sense from Boeing to do. It also makes a lot of sense to use one of the popular tools available, such as Microsoft Flight Sim, rather than develop something from scratch for their very own purposes. Now let's take a moment to talk about what you can not do with such a tool. And let's face it, this goes for any simulator now, whether it's X-Plane, whether it's Microsoft Flight Simulator, whether it's DCS or anything else. You cannot practice any manual flying skills with those because Boeing designs their tool for use on an iPad or a laptop. That's a whole different world than what we're looking at at professional training. So would an airplane in Microsoft Flight Simulator or an X-Plane for that matter, respond exactly like the real aircraft would? Probably not. But if you can get that thing in the air and see how your instruments work, see how your FMS works, how your autopilot works, that's a lot of the training already done. Because while even the most expensive full flight simulators can teach you how to fly an aircraft to a certain extent, they will never be able to completely replace training in the real world. Even when you do a zero hour type rating, which is what most airlines do nowadays, that means that the first time you're in the real aircraft, you're there with passengers on board. So you do the entire training in your sim. That gets you to a very good degree of accuracy, but it does not mean 
that you'll have everything perfected by the time you get into the real aircraft. That's why you do the first couple of months in the real aircraft with instructors sitting by your side. They are going to teach you all the complete details of how to master the practical side of handling the aircraft. And that goes for the most expensive simulators to the most expensive aircraft. Well, I do hope that this gives you a little bit of an idea of what the new Boeing simulator is about, of what might be going on in the background, what it is good for, for pilot training, and what it cannot replace in pilot training. Let me know your feedback and your thoughts in the comments underneath the video. I'm certainly very excited to hear that Boeing has seen the value of what you can do with simulators like these. And with that out of the way, thank you very much for watching. As always, like, comment and subscribe. And if you love what I'm doing on this channel and the insights that I'm giving you, I would appreciate a small donation through the Buy Me Coffee link in the video description below. Thank you for watching and I'm looking forward to see you all again on the next one.